So how do you guys format this to, I guess, make it beneficial for the consumer, but also the questionnaires and things like that, from my understanding is what's individualizing, what strategies will work best or kind of what state they're in to determine what training interventions you need to do. So explain a little bit about that, whatever you're willing to share about how that's packaged, what the app experience is like, and, you know, all of those factors that you guys have researched for years. Mm, yeah, absolutely. So I'm re- already in this assessment, which is really what provides the the context for our tools, mm-hmm. is uh, is made up of a night is a a short. Uh, the whole assessment's around ninety seconds long. Okay. It's made up of a short cognitive reaction time task. It's a great way for us to understand your level of cognitive fatigue, like a little game, pretty much. You're reacting to these uh, blue polygons, mm-hmm. and uh, as soon as they flash up, and we're tracking and train reaction time lapses and misses. We are also bringing in your resting physiology from connected devices like uh, Aura Ring, Apple mm-hmm. Health, uh, Bluetooth heart rate monitors, Google Fit, so all these different sources that you can bring in uh, data from. And that really informs the sort of level of physical fatigue you're under, mm-hmm. um, alongside a few little questionnaires around muscle soreness and training load. Mm-hmm. And then finally, we're asking some emotional questions like how stressed you're feeling, how frustrated you're feeling, how ready you are, how sorry, how ready you feel, how, mm-hmm. re- how rested you feel. And these subjective questions that all normalize to you as an individual, and that really allows us to, to understand where you are. So we don't compare it to sort of population-based scales, we're comparing it to you, and that gives us a really individual approach. And then after that questionnaire, What's the experience like? Like, will it recommend what they need to do for the day? Or is this more of a long-term kind of plan? Like, we're going to track you over a month and then kind of see how you're doing after the month? Or what's the strategy for the app to provide some solutions? Yeah, absolutely. So we're, we're providing solutions around your whole 24 hours then. So straight away, you're asked to quit. So you're given a readiness score, and that's also broken down by cognitive, emotional, and physical readiness. And then you're asked, uh, there's a prepare for your day button. And you're asked, what's your primary goal for today? And that might be performance. It might be productivity. It might be rest and recovery. And what we're going to do then is we're going to select the most ideal session for you and your goal in that moment so if it's you know if it's uh, your goal is physical performance and you're under a lot of physical fatigue or you're you know you're under some emotional fatigue some cognitive fatigue depending on the situation we're going to judge different things so we might involve some step up breathing we might involve some self-talk and really fine-tune those wording uh, we might involve some visualization strategy we might involve a 13 hertz binaural beat we might involve some fundamental priming so all these different protocols that we can bring together into a short session and that ultimately has a huge effect on sort of how you're performing that day got it um no that's really interesting and i i would assume you know a lot of this these strategies it would be most effective to do before you know you have to do the performance tasks or the mental task and all of that yeah another follow-up question is you know you've kind of shared all of the different tools and solutions. And that kind of makes me think, you know, there's a lot more value in what you guys are offering, right? I use, you know, a fitness tracker myself. You mentioned the aura ring that you use, right? But kind of mention a little bit as to, I guess, what's your take on on what this tool is monitoring, right? And then kind of what you guys add to that piece of the puzzle when it comes to human performance. Yeah, so I'd say um, where they're lacking is sort of in two areas. So. One in particular is, you know, we're far bigger than our HRV scores, our sleep scores, our, you know, resting heart rate. We need to take into account the cognitive side of things and the emotional side of things, because ultimately that makes up a huge part of our performance. Mm -hmm. Uh, So we're tracking those physiological measures, but we're also combining that with the emotion and cognitive piece, Mm -hmm. because ultimately our feelings and, and also our cognitive fatigue have an effect on our performance. The other side of things is providing a solution. Like if you were to wake up today and you're say a 30 or, you know, got a low score, but you've still got to perform that day. Uh, it's kind of this weird juxtaposition because you need, yeah, <laughs> you're in this bad state and yet it's just telling you that. What we want to do is provide solutions. So we want to take that data and use that context to give you an ideal solution to get in a better state and empower you to perform with what you want to achieve that day. So we're taking that context and providing really useful recommendations around it. Mm -hmm. That I mean, that's very true because, you know, you only can prepare so much, but things happen. And if you're, 
readiness score or whatever is like low, then you can't postpone the game. You can't postpone the event. You have to right. figure out, okay, how am I going to adapt to this? And how am I going to just make myself a little bit more ready to take on whatever the task is? Yeah, I mean, the only thing that is missing is like a, a calendar integration that emails your whole whole meeting list that day. Oh, I can't do it. Like, we've got stuff to do. We've got meetings, we've got games, we've got competitions. And yeah, you know, there's some flexibility around training, but, you know, ultimately we need to perform in something each day. Um, so we really want to empower athletes to be able to, to do that and provide them strategies around that. Yes, that's very true. 